Before we even consider importing anything into 3ds Max, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we set our units to the values that make the most sense for what we're working on. In 3ds Max, we have the display unit and the system unit. And choosing the wrong values can lead to our objects being larger or smaller than expected. Here we are in 3ds Max, and we're going to take a look at the units used by going into Customize and then Unit Setup. And you can see we have two values here. We have the display unit and the system unit. The display unit is the value used in the 3ds Max UI, whereas the system unit is the unit used internally by 3ds Max. And I know at this point that probably didn't clarify things, but let's go ahead, keep that in mind, and then let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So the display unit by default is set to generic units. So let's go ahead and create something. So I'll create a box. And in this case, I'll set it to one by one by one. So I just created a box that is one unit cubed. Now, if I were to just open up 3ds Max in the scene and take a look, and someone were to ask me, how big is this? It's not very clear. You can see that um, in the length, width, and height, it just says one unit. but what is that? One meter, one kilometer, one mile? We don't know um, just from the UI. But if I were to go again into our unit setup and the system unit, you can see that by default, one unit equals one inch. So let's keep that in mind. Now, instead of using generic units, let's say I want to use something that makes or something that's a bit clearer. So let's say um, metric centimeters. So if I go ahead and change this, now you can see that the length has changed to um, the centimeter equivalent of one inch. So now you can see it's 2.54 centimeters cubed. So the box didn't actually change in size. It's still technically one inch, but in the UI, it's displaying it as the centimeter equivalent, 2.54. Now what happens if I go into units and change the system unit to something different. So instead of one inch, let's say I'm going to change this to one centimeter. And if I hit OK, you can now see that the length, width, and height is one centimeter. It's no longer one inch. So it's that's the important distinction to make. So the display unit only changes the units used in the UI. It doesn't actually change the size of anything in the scene. They all stay the same size, but it's just going to show us the equivalent in the system that we chose. But if I were to change the system unit, so what 3ds Max uses internally, that will change the size of everything that exists in the scene. So that's important because if everything was the correct size before, now they're no longer the same size. If I were to import something new, then that will be fine. But anything that was there before I changed the system unit has changed bigger or smaller depending on what the units were before. So keep in mind that at the very least, we should set our system unit to, um, in this case, if we're working with the metric system and we are with our front loader, then something like centimeters, uh, meters, uh, millimeters, I mean, it's up to us in this case, but something in the metric system. Now, why would I choose maybe, let's say meters over centimeters or even millimeters? It's just to get essentially more resolution after the decimal point. In 3ds Max, we only have three units after the decimal point. If I need a resolution higher than that, then I need to choose something smaller, let's say in this case, centimeter. If I don't really need that, if I don't need fractions of a millimeter accuracy, I could go higher. There's no, technically, there's no problem going as low as you can go. So uh, even though we're working on a front loader, sure, we can set it to millimeters if we want. Um, but I do find it gets, at least for me personally, a little bit confusing if I'm working in millimeter equivalents of meters. Um, it hurts, it, it's a little hard to do the mental math. So I'm going to keep uh, my system units, in this case, to centimeters. And the, the display unit could be anything. So in this case, um, let's go ahead and set it to meters, just for clarity later on. But this could be changed at any point, no problem. 